7 Eyewitness News. Good afternoon once again. We begin today with new information about yesterday's shooting outside of the Dollar General store on Union Road near French in Cheektowaga. And more information on the suspect who was at the center of all of this. This is new video from Cheektowaga Town Court, where 29-year-old Travis Green faced arraignment this morning. The list of charges he is facing now is a long one. They include attempted murder, assault, and unlawfully wearing body armor. And in a news conference, that took place within the past hour, Cheektowaga police showed us this new video. This is the very moment when police took down Green shortly after he opened fire in that store parking lot. This is from a police officer's dash cam video from their car. You can see Green running along the roadway before police chase him down along the guardrail and other police officers move in. Chief David Zack says that police recovered 20 shell casings from the scene. They say they found 850 live rounds in Green's vehicle. Now listen to Chief Zack talk about how the civilians in the area yesterday at that time prevented a much different outcome here. I can also now confirm reports that we did in fact have a couple civilian heroes yesterday who played a crucial role in stopping the attack and assisting in the apprehension. I hope to meet with these brave citizens later today and thank them for their actions. There is no question these individuals saved lives yesterday. They are heroes. And the chief says that the FBI and ATF now are both part of this investigation as well. Let's go now to 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui. She is live in Cheektowaga. Ali, I understand you were in court for the arraignment today and you actually spoke with Travis Green's mother. Well, good afternoon, Keith. Travis Green's mother, that's right, was in court, stood by her son as he was arraigned here at Cheektowaga Town Court earlier this morning. The arraignment brief, maybe about five minutes, and she emotional as her son appeared in front of a judge. According to her, yesterday afternoon, he just snapped. Losing his job, being injured from Browdies, from him working for many years of his life, and and um, his relationship with his wife, I guess it just took a toll of him. All the pain in his body and the care and the care that's not helping him and his wife want the separation. I, I believe that's just, he just, just got fed up. He needs his peace right now. Again, that is Travis Green's mother. You heard her say he'd recently lost a job, and even more recently, she says her son's wife had left him. She says the shooting had nothing to do with the Dollar General. Further, the body armor had belonged to his father, who had been a member of the military. She says the guns had been purchased years ago, although we are learning through police that both weapons and the ammo recovered at the scene may be illegal under the SAFE Act. Green faces six charges, including a attempted murder. He does remain in custody. He is due back in town court next week. We're live in Cheektowaga this afternoon. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Allie.